Hello and welcome back everybody. My name is Lance1993 and we are back at it with some more Call of Cthulhu. We're right now hitting chapter 5, the Riverside Institute. So we just saw our friend Bradley, Officer Bradley, essentially get disemboweled by some kind of creature, human, you know, Cthulhu mix. Um, he was completely killed and we were running and we... We're trying to run away from the thing that did kill him, but the creature, we're just going to call it, hit, this one punch hit the walls of the cave. It completely caused an entire collapse. And we were going to the light of the cave when we just kind of blacked out um, after being chased and after everything. So right now, apparently we're in the Institute, so hopefully we're getting some medical treatment. Granted, with how this game has been going, I don't think it's anything as nice and kind as that. Oh, damn, we are messed up. Oh, what the hell is that in that syringe? That stuff was green. Are the faces changing? Um, but yeah, that stuff was green. That definitely did not look like a normal medicine. Well, we're having probably having a seizure because of what you injected me with. Strong subject. Subject. I feel like a guinea pig at this point. Oh, what the hell? There, he's opening his eyes. Was her face changing? I, I can't get up. Don't move, Pierce. Wait, what? Can certainly say that you gave. We just saw scare. him dead and thrown against the wall. He was disemboweled. Undo these straps. Whoa, go easy, my friend. You were dead. Okay, so yeah, he, he was dead. I, I'm not just imagining things. Well, at least Are not this time. you sure he's better? Oh, he, was, he was dead. Me too, we, we were dead. What are you doing? I'm sorry, my friend. What? Oh, no. and we're out again. What is he? Is, what is going on? Does he not remember like the whole, you know, cult members and fighting and everything that we just did? How does he forget all of that? Oh, we're in a padded cell. Oh, this is like one of my biggest, you know, fears what is to wake to up in like a padded cell and just be Where trapped. Oh, these are some crazies. Mr. Sanders, you have Mr. to come Sanders. With no, please. I feel like that name me. rings a bell. No choice, Sanders, and neither do we. Oh, I can't get out. Well, you know, you can't blame me for trying the door. No, no. You're leaving this cell. Please. What is wrong with the cell room? I don't want oh. to find me. Does he have a blindfold on? But yeah, you can see like drawings and everything all over the cell room. Oh, hey, look. We're being gassed. Yeah, I definitely feel like a <laughs> guinea pig now. What the hell? <laughs> This foul gas again. Oh, is that that same gas we found or we're dealing with before? Okay. God, freaking psychopath screaming. Okay, this has to be a nightmare. Okay, yeah, this definitely looks like a nightmare. Okay, well, oh. I don't know what's the point. Okay, there's a way to go. You're not really sure what's the point of this. Are we supposed to be trapped in it? What the hell? Oh, that is the creepiest thing ever. Oh, look, they're just getting up as you pass by. Shh. Oh, what the hell? They're all just doing random... These people are off the bloody rocket. No That's a very, you know, impressive haiku. You know, well done, well done. Uh, where are we now? When the last autumn rises up, you will 
Leviathan coming at us. God, this dude has some trippy dreams, but with us being, you know, injected with a, some unknown substance on top of being gassed, I can't really blame him for having these weird ass dreams. We don't have much time. Oh, are we out? Can you stand Who are up? you? Who are you? Oh, hey. A friend of Ethan Bradley. It was he oh, okay. who told me that you had been interned here. Wait. Bradley is really Yeah, alive. can you explain that? I don't understand. You filled me so full of drugs I can't distinguish dream from reality. Please That's believe a fair that point. I have nothing to do with these disgraceful treatments. Yeah, this is not Look, treatments. This I is don't testing. Have time to explain everything. Animal testing. As I'm in, really we are the animal here. here. And the same goes for you, according to Ethan. You must leave as soon as possible. And as unobtrusively as possible. I've brought you your clothes. Let me go ahead. We'll meet upstairs. Wait a minute. Unobtrusively as possible. So I have to sneak the hell out of here? How am I supposed to escape? I saw the nurses at work on a patient. It wouldn't be good for me to get caught. You must avoid them at all costs. If someone found out that I released you from your room, I'd never find work in a hospital again. So nice of you to worry about me like that. Do not be unpleasant, Mr. Pierce. You can't really blame me. I was locked up there in are a two men crazy room. Near the stairs. It's the and gas. To the floor above. And injected with weird chemicals. To them and get at least one to come with me. All you need to do is to follow me as soon as the way is free. Understood. Right, let's go check his room. Oh my god, he'll what does see. This mean? Like the same symbol is over and over being repeated on this room. What did he write about the painting? Oh. Am I in an asylum? Yeah, it definitely feels like that. This is no medicine. Well, hell, I could have told you that. I don't need a Sarah medical Hawkins degree to tell you that. List of authorized visitors. Oh, Sarah's name's written on the walls, too. Sarah. Why the strange symbol repeated over and over? Okay, so I'm glad I'm not the only one asking these questions here. But I have no idea what the hell's going on. So this has to do has something to do with Sarah Hawkins. So this has to be an important person or important, you know, piece of the law because why else would we see that symbol over over again? And direct ties with it to being linked to Sarah Hawkins. Oh god, I don't want to go in these rooms. I don't know if they're gonna be unlocked or what. If I don't get out of here, I'll end up like him. Oh, is that the one that's screaming? Damn, somebody put a muzzle on him. Poor wretch. All these people are undergoing the same thing that I just went through. Oh, crap. I'm surprised to see you, but we all know that your curiosity will be your ruin. This is a crazy bastard. These people need care. You keep them in this... Terrible place as if go back upstairs where your patients are waiting for you to treat them. As for you, gentlemen, do not disappoint me anymore. No one enters. This Dr. Phil guy is a scumbag. Stealth and detection. White marker appears. Damn it. Marker changes the red I'll have to find enemy a way of getting rid of those you. two myself. What's this? Can we open it? Oh! I know. Oh, that's a stealth mechanic, so you get to hide in here. But wait, what's that 
What is the thumping? Oh, do we have claustrophobia now? And it messes up our perception and everything. Oh, that's going to be a fun mechanic to have to deal with. Alright, so is there anything in here that we can make use of? Mental trauma. Alright, so so far we're pretty stable. Our, our little gauge hasn't gone down a terrible amount. But it looks like that ritual definitely has affected us to a degree. And our nightmares have not helped either. But let's see about spending those points we got. Alright, so at least we have 50% on everything. Alright, so now we just need to figure out how the hell we are going to get out of here. Because we do not want to end up like those people that are the screaming their head working off. Again, but the control wheels have oh, this lean mechanism. On. I was just going to the storage room. I can bring them to you. No, Dr. Fuller doesn't want us touching the pressure valves. As you want. I'm going to see if there are sleeping pills left. They've run out again upstairs. Put a few aside for me, will you? And above all, leave the wheels where they are. Wheels. I wonder if that's an important thing that we have to remember. Well, I'll make a mental note of that. Is that blood on the, on the floor? Oh, bloody hell. See, I don't know where these guards are all at either. I don't know how many guards they have. We know we saw the two at the door. Good God. What could this machine be used for? That has bad written all over it. Medical record of Francis Sanders. He's suffering from psychosis. This machine seems to consume a great deal of electricity. Oh damn, there's a dead body. Is there a connection between this corpse and the machine? The corpse is complete. Whose are these limbs? Why are they like rotting? Like why... Like, this is not a medical facility at this point. None of this looks like a medical facility. This is madness. Worse and worse. Like this... Oh, what the hell? What's the connection between this meat and the electrical installation? I would not have called that meat. I would call that a creature. Have I activated any? It's an ammeter. I didn't expect to see one on this little rock. I have no what is idea what here? they're trying to achieve here. But maybe we shouldn't have our light out too much. At least not the big light. Let's go with the little light. Alright, so I see these cords going other places. I'm guessing that these the other switches that we have to flip to turn on the electricity. But what is going on with that machine? Are they I obviously they're running tests on people. It kind of feels like almost like what the Nazis and whatnot did during World War II, just running tests on human experimentation. This feels just like it. Granted, I've not experienced it myself, but I have... I have read a bit into the subject, um, just due to the fact that I love World War II history. And this definitely gives me those chills that I've seen from the photos of, like, this real-life human experimentation that was going on. Okay, so all these closets we can't go into. Oh, we only go into either. We just don't open them. Looking. Sarah Hawkins. Who medical record? She was a patient here. She was interned for fits of insanity? Zoology, esotericism, mineralogy, and a full shelf on cephalopods. For those of you that don't know, Anatomy, cephalopods, anthropology, uh, octopuses. dementia, self-inflicted wounds. Oh, Sanders' wife, Irene, had her husband interned after he had shown grave signs of madness. Okay, is that all that's in here? We got did, we did get some use, useful information, I will say that, but... Oh, why that music just change? Oh, that's never a good moment when the music changes. I think someone's coming. Oh yeah, okay. So that guy has a lamp. That will make it easier to track him, at least. Alright, so this is another switch. Alright, let's flip this. 
I, you know, I don't know if it's supposed it's to be flipping it or not. Not for the others. But if it gives this option to, it can't be a tail. Oh, there's a lot more crazy people. How many people are stuck down here as lab subjects? All right, what is this? Just like a hiding spot? Okay. Nothing useful. So the scale of his, like, Dr. Fuller's experimentations are a lot bigger than I thought it was. Good, okay. We also good. At least the people aren't shouting at us and like giving our position away. Oh crap, the guy's coming back. Okay, he's walking pretty slowly. Hopefully, you know, we're able to hold out for as long as possible. I you know, I'm not really sure what happens when we hit our max, if we just come out screaming or if we just kinda of have a panic attack and just die. I have no idea. I definitely do not want to find out. Alright. Yeah, and that takes a while to dissipate too. Seems like the longer that we're in an enclosed One, space. Two, three, four, five, six, oh what the hell? No, 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 not, not six. Four, five. It seems like the longer that we're in uh enclosed space, the longer it takes for us to come out of that, you know. That fairy that we're in. From the paranoia. Inside me, this one. I feel it in my head and in my body. He roars and swells and has strength of ocean. Oh, I wonder if they're talking about Leviathan. So he's all on his trail of white nourishing. I don't know what the hell he. I that sounds like a very uh, he enters me. Let's call it yes, yes, triple X. Yes, yes. Okay, that guy belongs in a hentai. Jeez. Oh, there's a guy in there. Catch me. These other ones have light. He doesn't even have light. If I do not sleep, I do not see. I do not hear him. Okay, so these guys have all had the same, call. I guess, shot or treatment as us because they're all hearing Leviathan's voice. If I walk, I do not stop. If Which, you know, we started hearing you after we got our shot, to be fair. And also gas, so... It's probably definitely you, a culmination of yeah, things. You there. Come here. Oh, hey, look. I don't know what you're doing there. What do you want? Sleep. This guy seems That's to be all. sane. Sleep? You don't want to leave? No. Have you seen the storm that's brewing? I'm fine here. Except for one problem. You want sleeping pills, right? Yeah. And in exchange, I can make noise. Lots of noise. You'll draw the guards to your cell to allow me to escape. This guy's actually a so, cool guy. You in? Find something to make me sleep, and I'll take care of the guards for you. Oh, I can just punch you. I'll find you some pills. Go look in the storage room. There must be sleeping pills there. I have no idea what the storage room is, but at least this is one way that we can escape. That's the kitchen. Oh, that's the security guard right there, so we don't want to go. Oh, did we get spotted? Oh, I forgot that we have to play this stealthy. Also, I don't know where everyone's at, where all these guards are actually located. Administration. Oh, there's a lot of documents and stuff. Exactly in there. what I need. Is that the key out? Locked. Damn it. Okay, so those are those two guards that we... Okay, so this is where we started at. Oh, they just saw us. Alright, I don't think that lasted though. It's locked. He'll find me. He can see me. Let's calm down. Oh, it's down. Dr. Fully. No, no, no! Pain is just information, dear Francis. Dude, you are literally torturing that dude. Information for my research. Kill me. Kill me! What? If you don't kill me, he will. My You're literally torturing that man to death. I fear your mind is lost forever. Can't... Oh, I... The green gas leaves from here and it runs through the whole building. I hate hearing that. Torture is not a pleasant thing. Um, I've repaired the machine as best I can. However, the piping has been damaged and I fear the gas is escaping. I cannot do any more in such a short time. All I can do is warn you, if the equipment is put under too much pressure, 
There's a risk of explosion. Okay. So this is another way out. Okay, so there seems to be multiple... The control wheel is missing. Yes. All right, so that's what the guys were talking about, the wheels earlier. So there seems to be multiple ways to escape. Pressure. Now, you know, like I've mentioned before, this game definitely does have multiple endings. So I guess different methods that we use here will have different impacts on the overall ending of the game. Granted, the lady did say use a way to escape that is as least noticeable as possible. The duct. Yeah, I do see the duct. It's impossible to break this chain with my bare hands. Oh, that's obvious news. That's so we have to turn up the pressure. Granted, I flipped the switch. I found the crazy guy that was screaming for us. And it looks like there's gas, which is the other way we can get out. So those are three methods that we have to escape this sanatorium or asylum or however you would like to phrase it. I wonder if there's wheels in here. I feel like this is where you would keep, you know, a spare part or something. What about this door? Oh, I forgot you can lockpick stuff. Come on. This padlock is too complicated. Oh, damn it. So now we have to find the key because we don't have enough. I think it was what strength that we needed to have leveled up so we can lockpick stuff better. All right, well, I gotta find a key for that somewhere. Oh, I also gotta remember I don't get I found. could use this control wheel to turn the valve I saw. All right. Ooh, up the medicine. Oh, crap. Forgot about the light. Forgot about the light. I I'm... Because we haven't done stealth this whole game till now, so I keep forgetting that there's a thing. Oh, crap. Is he coming? Oh, they're going to investigate all the way. Oh, I need to run. So if you get white, and if you get enough notice, they will definitely come all the way to investigate. All right. That is good to know. I'm going to head back in here. And hopefully he stops following me. Maybe. Good. Oh, yeah, he's gone. He's going. Okay. Oof. I was kind of worried there. I was going to say, if he came in here, we would kind of, you know, SOL. All right. So we have. Now for the next step. The wheel, we increase the pressure. And then is it just kablooey? No? Oh? I got the one. Oh, what the hell? That's, that looks like the finish. Alright, so this one has been pressured. So I guess I have to go into there to activate it. I have to pull the lever to actually activate the explosion. So I need to find something to break those chains. Yeah. Oh. Where can I find a pair of bolt cutters in this place? Storage room, maybe? Damn, our lock this padlock is too complicated skills for are me. crap. Oh, there's a guy in here. That's right. That was the one that saw me, I think. Wait, where did he go? Okay, yeah, he would have seen me if I'd stayed out. So he walks that way. So I need to walk the opposite way, obviously. Because this is where we saw the key. There's a bunch of notes, a closet, key to the maintenance room. Right. So 
So we have that pathway at least open. Now I'm not sure how well the guards will actually notice if we like leave doors open if they will investigate that or not. But better safe than sorry, don't you say? Alright, so what's in the maintenance room? Please say there's a giant pair of bolt cutters. Oh, it's another electricity lever. Theoretically, I've only got one lever to push. Oh, you know, in theory, everything's nice in theory. Oh, this was the duck, so that's how you get in the room, not... Oh, and this is going to affect our sanity. So this is how we got in the room, or we're supposed to get in the room, not... There's no bolt colors involved, you just have to go through the duct. Maybe there's two ways to get in, who the hell knows? Damn. I thought at least lighting a light would make it better, you know. I feel like a cramped space isn't as bad as long as you it's can impossible see. Impossible to break this chain with my bare hands. Oh hey, find the bolt cutters. Oh, I need one more wheel. This lever must turn on the gas machine. Oh, I did not mean to do that. So it seems like the gas is like an easy option to do because so far you have not needed any skills per se to do it you know the key was easily accessible once you snuck past the guard did i turn this one on oh no i just turned it off crap um but the key like the the gas definitely seems like the easiest option you don't need to lock pick your way into any kind of door So I'm wondering if the gas is the worst option because it's no use. The padlock won't give. You know, you would think anything that you can do without skills would be the worst option. Because it would take more skills to do the get the better outcome, more knack to get the better outcome. So I don't know if we should be doing the gas, but I, I don't want to mess with that electricity thing in case you know. <sighs> I just can only imagine what could go wrong with, you know, all that electricity because we're not just flipping one switch. There seems to be four switches in total, obviously, and that's a lot of electricity. And I don't know if that's going to end up killing somebody, which could also have a negative impact on our resolution of our story here. All right, so I'm going to sneak past this guy while he's doing whatever the hell he's doing over there in the corner. I have to be careful because there's another guy right here. What's this? Ooh, medical book. I'll take that. Oh, we got another wheel. That's the last wheel. Ooh, crap. He's right there. Ooh, crap. That was close. All right, so as long as we stay here, we can see his shadow. So that way we at least know when he's leaving or moving. All right. So his shadow just disappeared. Alright, where is he? Oh, he moved fast there. I'm surprised he got all the way across the room in that little amount of time. Alright, so we're just going to go with the gas method just because we have all the parts and there's nothing else we need to do. But at the same time, I'm wondering... Dr. Fuller was in that one room. I'm wondering if we can save what's-his-name. I don't think we'll be able to, though. It's locked. It's no Still use. Don't have the key. The padlock won't give. All right, so let's go flip this gas. Because, you know, I just want to get the hell out of here before I end up messing something up. Because knowing myself and my luck, it's very likely that something like that would happen. Oh, whenever I see these levers, <laughs> I always think of, you know, Apple's new groove. <laughs> Pull the lever crank every the single time. Oh, we gotta hide? Oh, damn it. Who did this? Is somebody here? <coughs> Hell's teeth. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I'm caught. I am screwed. Oh, That's I just no fucked use. up. I Head just got give. caught. You know, I should have gone out the duct. I do not know why I came this way. That was very stupid of me. Oh. Oh. 
They haven't seen me yet. Can I sneak by? Ho oh, ho ho ho! That was lucky. I can't believe they didn't notice me. They should have noticed my steps or something. Oh, I do not know how they did not see me, but I'm so lucky I did not get caught. Okay, and those two guards that came were the ones that were standing guard by this door. So, in this theory, I should be able to see fully. You know, it would be nice just to escape and everything and just not have to deal with it. But I want to see if I can rescue this guy. That would give me a good outcome, I would imagine. Doctor. Francis Sanders. Is that you? No, I am not the doctor. Don't you worry about the doctor. Right now, he'll have plenty to keep him busy with his precious machine. It gives us time to get away. I'll undo you. Get away? Get away where? I, I, I can't go anywhere. It'll find me. Like it Dude, found what's me with here. your eyes? You're mistaken about the beast. Don't stay with me, or you'll end up the same way. I don't abandon the wounded. You're Sanders, aren't you? I heard you from my cell. What did they do to you? What does Fuller want with you? That's a good damn doctor. question. You think it's the doctor who scared Well, he's me? the one torturing you. The doctor wants to heal me. But he's the one who's crazy. He wants to restore my sight. He wants to give me back my eyes. That's a bad thing? And I told him that I didn't want him. I do not want to see it anymore. The real culprit is Sarah. Her and her accursed paintings. What the You're hell? Me. You're talking about Sarah Hawkins. <laughs> the one and only. The legendary. There is no artist more enlightened or cursed I... than Sarah Hawkins. Do not understand where this was going. I do not see this coming. Oh, this is a time dialogue. What can you tell me about the Hawkins? You... you should leave before it's too late. I inspected the scene of the fire and something is not right. Exactly. Do you think Charles Hawkins could have killed his wife and faked his own death? What? No, of course not. He would never have done such a thing. Really? She was the sole purpose of his life. I don't understand. But look, there was a fight. What's going on on this island? I'm... Did we get the fight wrong? Was so he sorry. actually not the cause? We should never have met. What are you talking about? Destiny! It has trapped you! No, don't let it see you, or you won't be able to escape it. So don't look at it! That's how it finds you! What finds me? Sarah Hawkins' visitor! The Shambler! Sanders, pull yourself together. Without her, it's no longer possible to save me. What are you talking about, mate? What the hell's going on? No! Oh wait, Sanders. what the hell? Oh! What the hell? What the hell? He's really floating in the air. Oh, I see like an outline. I got, I got it. Did he just die? What snapped his neck? I need to get the hell out of here. Look, this is insane. What killed him? Like he is completely just dead. I didn't see anything come out anywhere. Like all of a sudden the lights started going haywire. Nothing was moved. He just kind of floated up in the air and then just died. Alright, so I'm willing to bet now that it looks like we're getting out and finally getting ourselves free. Oh, that's gonna affect us. That gas is gonna mess us up. But uh, like I was saying, I'm guessing this is going to be the end of the chapter. Um, so that's gonna be the end of this episode. I do appreciate everyone for tuning in. And if you like what you see, give me a nice thumbs up down below and let me know in the comments the what gas. you think this is gonna lead us to. Because I'm really curious at this point. My head. Later. We need to move on.